You're listening to the Joint Sermons on the Push Media Podcast Network. Very special episode of Joint Sermons this week. Not your typical normal episode, but we've been gone for a couple weeks and we wanted to leave all eight of you uh, not in the dark. So, uh, <laughs> as you know, I am the Lord Master of the show, Elton Juan, and I have my liege. Uh, Doc Jeezy, who's joining me remotely via the old telephone service. How you doing, Doc? What's going on? Uh, you know, first of all, I am not a lead. You can't talk to me like that. You know why. That's We've had these conversations, but I'll offer you. Does it have to do with your ancestry test? It, it, it might be, my friend. You might... Uh, might have violated, have, huh? Yeah, you might. You may have violated. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm doing all right, man. You know, unfortunately, my father passed away, so I had to... I'm sorry to hear that. Day. I appreciate that, but I had to come home to take care of my mom because that's what I do. Because everybody loves moms. Good like, man, take, good man. But you know, I uh, I wanted to you know pop back in and say you know you're not getting rid of me that easy. You are going to hear from us, and we're going to keep going with the show. And uh, you know, we're we're just going to keep doing what we do, and uh, you guys are going to love it. Maybe we'll even get a ninth listen. Well, the ninth listener would be great. And for those that don't know, nine's a big number. Uh, they said uh, they had a whole show about it on Sesame Street when I was a kid. So absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And but, you know uh, what? The 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 count actually looks like somebody familiar to me, and I just can't place my finger on the name. Lurch? Yeah. Is it Lurch? Weird. No, it's not Lurch. It, it might be. I mean, I always, I, you know, Oscar always resonated with me. That's you know, I'm a drop, so it worked out well. You know what I mean? I like trash cans. Got covered in tattoos, like you know, it resonates. But how have you been? I'm I've been doing fantastic, actually. I took this opportunity to have you out of my life and bought an Apple Watch, yeah, and have been actually, using it, been using it to exercise. So how's that? That's uh, I mean, I figured me being out of your life it was probably a, a huge relief. But like I said, just like the listeners, you're not getting rid of me that easy. And well, actually, I'll t- actually. actually right. Actually, well, give me a chance. See, here it is. I come back, and you're right back on my neck. Just and here tip. comes the communism. Yep. You, it's coming in hot. But actually, you will find this funny, because guess who else bought an Apple Watch? Shut up. Yep. You know, I was. I felt so... Wait, 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 wait. Do you have an iPhone yet? I don't, but that's also... So we're talking about a conversion. Not the conversion I was looking for, but a conversion nonetheless. I mean, hey, you know, like you, you finally, you finally beat me down into submission, and I'm finally converting over all to Apple products. Which, you know, I already have a MacBook Pro for all my production, but you know, finally after you complaining endlessly for years about my Android, I was finally, I was like, you know yes. what? Fine, I'll do it. Now, for those listening. Um, I absolutely did complain. I didn't care about like the green bubble, blue bubble thing because I am not a child. Although it's nicer to message on iMessage because of the feature set. However, uh, he can't do anything with his Android phone. I know Androids can do things. Certainly they can. I'm not naive. He couldn't do anything. There was always some kind of cock block by Google. And I don't know. We were just, there was tired of it. He couldn't share a folder. He could upload files. We had to use we transfer like a bunch of communists. It, it was ridiculous. So I'm glad to hear it. But I'll tell you what, you're you're being in that ecosystem, you'll get locked in because you like the thing and everything works. And you know that. You're the one who convinced me to get a Mac years ago in the first place. And uh you'll see your your quality of life when using digital products is better with Apple. It just is. Oh, oh yeah. Well, and it's ironic because you know, the whole time you were busting my chops about, you know, getting an iPhone. My dad always had an iPhone. My mom has an iPhone. And, he, you know, anytime I would be like, yeah, my five has part, I won't shut up about getting an iPhone. He's like, well, why don't you listen to him? He sounds like a smart dude. Get an iPhone. I'm sick of, I'm sick of using the signal to, 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 you know, FaceTime. Just, you know, just get it. Just get on an iPhone already. Jesus, come on. Everything is so seamless on Apple. And we are not being paid by Apple, but I would love to be paid by Apple. I mean, hey, you know, I, I couldn't have a problem with that. Do you, do you think Apple would sponsor a show that has nine listeners? I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if we get to ten, maybe uh, you know, maybe ten's the magic number. I don't know, but I think the next conversion after you get your iPhone, let's see if we can put that on a real network because I think you have that pink network, the uh, pink one. 
which fits <laughs> because you know communist pinkos and all that and whatnot but Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. whatever I, I, and for those I wondering to, i didn't go to harvard so i don't know if you can truly be called a pinko but you never know well i'll tell you what if one calls harvard students and faculty and staff and everything pinkos and one went there and got a master's degree there one should be considered a pinko I mean, if, if we're going logically, yeah, that's that's probably the case. And not to you know, and to be fair to the to the to the mobile network, I think they're magenta. However, same difference. But we can hear your audio quality now. Yep. Except yep. I'm calling from my cell phone in the middle of the ocean, and it sounds you know it's night and day different. So I don't know studio and all. I have everything there. I have a nice little interface and a little mixing board right here, right in the middle of the ocean. You can't even tell the difference, but you're in the middle of a metropolitan area. Uh, no, actually, I am sitting on a stack of canned beets uh, because that's all I have. It's just beets and cabbage, and and my mom is out back, you know, tilling, you know, just 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 working on the farm. You know what I mean? Just uh, out there making sure the uh, all the rest of the copies are fed. And what are you going to do later? Shoot up some uh, junk cars? Oh boy, you have about to, about to just shoot up. We got we got the shooting cars. We got the shooting couches. Probably gonna, you know, go out. I, I got some moonshine, like, cause you know, I mean, whew, we got we got that beer fridge in the garage. I'm living the dream. Well, shout out to Arrested Development, if you guys know what I mean. As the kids say, if you know, you know. How's that? Anyway, so when do you think we're gonna be back? The kids are excited. We got eight people knocking on our door saying, "Yo, when's the, the show gonna come back?" We're gonna come back with season two, so everyone knows, which is not gonna be anything like season one, except it will call it season two. Uh, I mean, you know, you, you never know. Probably season later. Uh, you know, you know what? I like to keep people in suspense, and you know, you know I, I'm sure we'll probably drop a quick, couple more quick hits like this, and uh, you know, just keep checking in on the show. Uh, we do have an Instagram account that you can follow now at the Joint Sermon. So you know, let's go pump those numbers up, uh, and uh, you know, when sooner or later we'll be back. But uh, you know, I like to keep a little. I like to keep it suspenseful. Yeah, in the meantime, we had some neat changes. And by neat, I feel that's uh, tremendous. We are now on YouTube podcasts, not to be confused with YouTube, which is weird because no one, I mean, who watches audio podcasts on YouTube, but weirdos do. But we actually are on YouTube podcasts, which is their new thing since they got rid of Google podcasts. And as the kids say, they're doing some numbers. So check it out. Don't miss nothing. We have 25, 26 episodes free to go and listen to in the meantime, because you have not heard them all. Uh, and we'll be back soon. Uh, but in the meantime, you can go to thejointsermons.com for all things juicy and spicy and uh, click some of the Apple podcasts and listen to us there. Or if you're a communist, you can go to Spotify if that's your trip. But no judgment. Any last words? Uh, I'm going to go get some fried chicken and some sweet tea, but, you know, I'll holler later. Okay, that's it. So now that he's gone, let's take a moment to say I am looking for a show co-host replacement. If you have any experience in a podcast and by that zero uh go ahead go to the joint sermons.com reach out to us there hit that contact link and send uh your music your your addition for the show anything uh but preferably if you can bring sponsors with you uh in which we do a complete revenue split uh 51 49 in favor of me that is good as well if not we will see you in a couple weeks or whatever and we'll find out the truth of what happened to doc Jeezy and if he found bigfoot yet because a man's got a dream 